Avoid these 10 tempting drinks to make glucose normal again. Hey there, welcome to my channel. My dear diabetic friends, I am Dr. Ergen. I'm an endocrinologist and a diabetologist. I'm so excited to be sharing this video with you today. If you or someone you know is living with diabetes, then this is the video you need to watch in just a few short minutes. I'm going to tell you the drinks that you should stop consuming to eliminate 50% of your diabetes. That is right. You heard me correctly. It's not a gimmick or a fad. It is science backed and proven. So sit back and grab your favorite beverage as long as it is not one I'm talking to discuss today. Let's get on the road to better health and wellness together. Did you know that the fruit juice seems innocent, but it can pack a calorie punch? Just a glass or two often contains more fruit and sugar than you would typically consume in a whole sitting with one fruit. There's a kicker. Juice lacks the filling fiber and protein and fat that makes a balanced meal. So chugging a glass of orange juice and calling it a meal? Not a, such a great idea, right? Before I give out the next one, let's remember to subscribe to my newsletter at sugarmds.com. You'll be glad you did for getting all the good information later. Now, sweet tea is the next one. It's a popular variant of iced tea. It's a delightful beverage enjoyed by many. It is made by combining black tea with the sweetness of sugar and maple syrup. However, it is important to note that sweet tea contains around 33 grams of carbohydrates, which can lead to a serious spike in your blood sugar levels, especially if you have diabetes. But even if you don't have diabetes, consuming sweet tea excessively can interfere with or cause the insulin resistance. So it is wise to enjoy this tasty drink once in a blue moon. Now, let's talk about the conventional milk versus organic milk. Did you know that the conventional milk actually may contain estrogen? That's really true because it comes from cows treated with hormones. Now, some experts worry that consuming these extra sex hormones could increase risk of certain cancers. Now, research even links milk consumption to higher rates of breast, ovarian, and uterine cancer. So if you are a big milk drinker, I would say opt for organic dairy products and keep it only for four ounces max. Ah, non-dairy milks, right? A savior for the lactose intolerant among us. But be aware of the flavored ones. Many of them are loaded with empty calories, and some even contain a seaweed-derived substance, it's a thickening agent, that can upset your digestive system. To play it safe, go for unsweetened plain or vanilla-flavored non-dairy milk that is organic and free of GMOs. I like almond milk myself as the best way to consume these non-dairy milks. Lastly, those zero-calorie artificially sweetened beverages that seem too good to be true. Well, they might be. While they may satisfy your sweet tooth, they often contain chemicals, artificial colorings, and sweeteners that don't actually fulfill your hunger. Plus, a recent research suggests that they can disrupt the balance of bacteria in your gut, which plays a significant role in our weight regulation. They also want you to keep eating sugar, so why not stick to water and boost the flavor with a squeeze of lemon or some frozen berries? Did you also know what is hidden inside your regular soda? Well, it is packed with sugars that give you nothing but empty calories. And if that's not bad enough, 
The dark sodas can even weaken your bones by reducing calcium absorption, increasing your risk of injuries and osteoporosis later on. Now, let's move on to some pre-mixed alcoholic beverages. Yes, they are convenient, but trust me, they're also loaded with preservatives and a mountain of sugar. And finally, muscle milks and pre-made protein drinks. Well, unless you're an athlete or an elite athlete, guzzling down extra protein may not be necessary. Plus, those lab-made meal replacements just can't compete with the satisfaction of whole foods. But if you still want a protein-packed smoothie, go for unflavored protein powder, some unsweetened almond milk, and add some juicy fruits for a flavorful combination that's free from all the unnecessary stuff. Now, sport drinks, electrolyte replacement drinks, etc. Did you know that these drinks often contain artificial colors and sweeteners that aren't exactly considered food? If you're not an athlete and just want to recover from a hangover or rehydrate after an intense workout, it is best to opt for water. So, coconut water, even, if after a serious workout, will give you all the electrolytes you need. It has a lot less additives, for sure. Now, how about fancy coffee drinks? Sorry to burst your bubble, but frappuccinos are basically sugar bombs packed with empty calories. In fact, your mid-afternoon treat might end up having more calories than your entire lunch. Stick to the basics, like coffee or tea, or maybe some cappuccino. Opt for skim options without any artificial coloring or sweeteners. Now, juice made from concentrate, another one. If a beverage is labeled and it says made from concentrate, it basically means it's processed. And with that comes the potential for questionable chemicals and unnecessary sugars. As a general rule of thumb, fresher options are almost always a better choice. Let's keep ourselves informed and make mindful choices for our well-being. Can we do that? I think we can. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, share this video, and give a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, Watch this video right there, I think that will help you too.